like this one with the tumbler. Got it to half forward, Bealy with a quick stack. Got it to Cousins from half forward. Right at attack. Coming in from the side was Morton. Got a fist on the football and found the safety of the boundary line over the lane. About 25 metres around from the Devils' goal.
confidence in the opening turn. Pays the ball, gets it to the halfback. The mark's been taken there by four. So no four. On half forward, out of sight of the ground. Right foot kick keeps it low, goes in the heady direction. Flew, didn't actually impact the shot there from the end. He was three or four back, Pays in front.
and training there for a kick. But uh, the Bloods have got numbers back and it's all. Who takes the mark on the last line of defence for the Bloods? The kick looks okay. Scoble can mark. And it can, uh, unimpeded there. And that just chooses to play on around the man and standing on the bar. The nice mark taken there by the Hubo. Who's going to be better? Who's going
Suzuki will be the champ. Puts up in the football, but the umpire's paid the mark. Gloves are off again. Tight gets it set. Oh, yeah. 35 metres out. Redan 6, lead Ballarat 1, Sebastopol 2, lead Blankindere 1, no scores in the other games yet. It's set far for the judges, off to the right and through for a minor score, so a little fair for the Devils. So Melton. That was their third behind of the afternoon. One three nine, Dali no score. Cousins normally good by Fortress. Beautiful kick it was to Page who dropped an absolute soda. Now he's under the pump, second even okay with the fact that Cousins want to be quick. The party in the devil of Page. Close up against the boundary line. We're looking for as a party. Leading assistance there was Cousins off hands over the line. Now the bounce to pressure from the gloves, but the devil's their own worst enemy at the moment.
up to holding the ball and uh, yeah, it's just not enough. Yeah, it's just to yourself to the goal. Well, going to take his best to try kicking with the Maroons. It'll be a tired kick. He'll kick from 45. He already has a behind to his name. Kick goes on its way. He's got the carry. It's, it's hit the post. The Holy Ghost to end the opening turn with a behind to the Devils. They're one goal, three nine. They trail Nelson, two three fifteen. It's a one goal, full game. But you see, the advantage with the blades because they kick to the A. They're a full goal range in the second. Footy here to be won. It's a good under kick.
minute bonus.
So Geordie Cotter coming off the ground for the blood. Doesn't look here. All good for uh, the rebounding halfback. This will take Johnson's best kick from 40 into the breeze. Let's see how he goes. Ted Sale. Just going to bend the way off to the right. Just needed to be at the left hand goalpost there, Fridge. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, really coming off the long uh, rest and Baker going on. Uh, Roger provided a spark. He's provided a lead up one. He's provided a target but Yeah, he did. In 16 minutes gone, ball comes back into attack. Suda mm -hmm. top one over the shoulder. I just don't want to cough up a quick one here. Play on said the umpire. Baker second in the left to red into the blunt and still got numbers from Jack Walker. Right from kick goes in the direction of Walsh Dickey. Right foot kick goes into the pocket. The mark's been taken in by Ryan Carter. Just inside the boundary line. Go for the right footer. I like to take charge here. The mark's going to be lost. The sharp shooting. Probably have 25 goals. And the mark's been three games. But we'll see how we go. He does average 10 shots on goal a game. He kicked one already this afternoon. Near 17 minutes gone. <laughs> afternoon fixture. There goes the kick. Goes across the face. Doesn't score from nine metres out. Off hands over the line for a boundary throw. <laughs> the devils, but it's just tough footing in these conditions. There's the throwing. Under the ball. And five four play on. Curry left foot kick there from Ward, got to the defensive 50. Scoble tries to keep it in for the Bloods, did well. Collapsed in front of the Darley opponent, wanted the free kick, was uh, correctly uh, a bit kind. Now that's pushing in the back every day of the week. And the right foot kick goes along the line. Right on the target. Couldn't take him out. Had enough of that ball. That ball went above the knee. Good decision down the umpire. And now we go.
50. Don't go short. Keeps the car yet time. John Cameron on half back. And they're going to the other side. He kicks okay as well. Mark's been taken there by Craig. Craig could kick that towards the car. And Awesome. 
basketball city on the line to your own 21. Renee Seven leads out around five. Now it's here two. Ray Sally gets the score. It's the siren sound on that ring entry inside 50 for the Bloods to end the half. Been far from a showcase given the windy conditions. Opportunity here at ground level. Uh, call that uh, to Hickey. High up and under kick tight. The target had two to beat. Good work there by Cousins. Quick hands to Ward. Had to be quick. Down Dewley. Think of Brett. Long left. Raking kick towards half back. Devils out of trouble momentarily. Menino's just taking it down. More handball here from the Devils. But they give it a cop and up. Straight back to uh, Walker. He drives some kick good. And the mark's been taken there by the big fella there in... Uh, might be uh, Carter, he plays on, goes in direction, and Ryan Carter comes down and takes the mark in front of Angler. About 40 metres out from goal. So Ryan Carter with one goal in that uh, first half. Of course, uh, now Matthew Brett went down to that. What was a serious leg injury seven minutes into that first quarter. It's all about how much this young devil's defence can hold up. So Ryan Carter from 40 metres, set far from the judge. And goes off to the near side for a minor score. So four goals, 9.33, Melton. Lead Daly, 3.422. And um, you'd think just a matter of time before uh, the Bloods can get the upper hand here against the uh, the Young Devils who are trying to hold up in defence. Well, you know, uh, the youngsters are going to try relatively hard, but um, it might be a fair long task because uh, the, big, the big strength body of Melton will probably take over in this half. Uh, Beulis kick out from the field was marked by Mawson and sent it back into attack over to Beulis. Mm -hmm. And Beulis down Brody right. He took a nice mark in front of all. Told the play on body of fire. Up by Cole, play on. Rodder leading into the race of the ball. How will it sit for the big fella? He knocks it. Uh, in board, about 40 metres away from the Charlie Dole. Bit of a stacks on the new. The umpire says, I'll have it. And then we get ball up. 35 metres out from the goal. 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 Not good, and no Darren Leonard today either. There's the tap, one by Orr, Baker over the footy, looking for options, tackle. Took too long, to the fire, and the ball will come back. And the, uh, It'll go to uh, the youngster, Menino, who's shown a bit this afternoon. Yeah, in fact, he's got his fucking spunk about him. So goes short, it's okay to watch him. So go short again to Hickey, just inside the boundary line. On half back for the Bloods. Concedes Graham with a 45 metre kick and finds the number 45 for the Bloods. And Minido gets on his bike, runs across the face of goal. So Walker gave the ball to Lord Phillips, who gave it back to Walker. Floating with him, or made a touch for Phillips over the line. And they'll go against Phillips. Melton 39, Lee Darling 22. There's the ball up, that one. Brian Tanner, 
taken, bailed up, no crime in the fight. And we are reset right in the middle of the ground. Got it up this afternoon, Jason, just letting you all know. Hello, hello. Bit of an informal introduction to one another. There's the ball up. Ball wins that tap, found Watkins. Cleverly sort of got boot to ball. Walker socking the ball towards half forward. Can't hear for Cousins, couldn't gather cleanly, hot footing. They can bind here, Baker knocked it forward, but of tough. Uh, chance here for Hickey, right foot kick inside 50. Oh, Going to ball there was Liam Carter, the umpire picked out a free kick to Cadman. Page took the advantage and got it to Bewley. Standing hand pass with Cousins under the pump and he was up to it on the half volley. Gave it back to Bewley. He's caught by Hickey. Trunk and tackle. Left as he got both. The ball to the hand. Got it over towards Baker. Back to Cousins. Left foot kick to the attacking 50. Right hand two to beat. The umpire picked out a free kick. And it's going to be a down the ground free kick, I believe. And it's going to go to the youngster there in right. He's about 55 metres out from goal. So he'll way up the option. Sends the ball to the top of the square. Run of the five couldn't take the mark all at ground level. Bit of a stacks on the nil. And the umpire says, I'll have it. There'll be a ball up 15 metres out from the daily goal. He's got high rubber there. He's uh, got himself in a great position to take that mark. Huh? And, uh, yeah, he's really succeeded. Jeremy Kane going on at Mars Stadium, North Ballarat, 36 lead, East Point 34 at half time. Following a VFL player, Sam Glover, has four of uh, North Ballarat's six goals. And Nick Rodder will get a free kick out of that uh, reset stoppage and have a shot on goal from 20 metres down to in front. So Rodder's first real shot on goal uh, with the breeze. He had one in that second term against it. But he'll need to convert here to get the Devils back within 11. But no shot on goal easy today. Set sail, misses off to the right, never looked like it. Through for a minor score, so disappointing finish there from Rodder. 3-5-23, Darley. 5-9-39, Melton. When you have a little bit of opportunities, those ones have got to kill. So the Bloods to bring the ball back into play through Cotter. Keeps the ball low. Coming out, taking a nice mark there with Phillips. And Phillips just inside the defensive 50 can go short to Hickey. Uh, Flockland Walker, in fact, he'll go short to Menido, who marks in front of Page. And Menido with ball in hand will weigh up the options. We'll come to the members' side of the ground. Kick save came looking for Heaney. Bailey Young was heavily committed on the ball. Came off worse for wear there. Still on the ground. Kick from Heaney gets to half forward. Before it's forced over the line for a boundary trolling. So Young is still on the ground there for the Dells. That's the last thing they need is a, another one going down this afternoon. Well, Brett with a suspected knee injury. Leonard. Not playing today. Tap one by all. Baker at ground level. Hand pass along the ground. On the play. And then back on. Now I'm finally in touch. He's here for Walker. Got it to Minito. Got it to Jack. We go to David Ward's handling. Right foot kick. Goes in the direction there of Carter. Good use of the body. You never need to take the mark. Hand pass to an open space there from Cadre. He found Heaney. Left foot shot on goal from 40. Call of the day from Heaney. And he puts it through. And the Bloods get their second run against the goal against the Breeze in this third term. And they move to uh, 6 9 45. They lead Darley 3 5 23. Well, no, good pressure to play there. And Harder uh, got the mark there. Todd and uh, Young Haley swoop on it. And uh, very nice goal. Okay, thank you, Jack. I've been a good goal to go back in the day. And Tanner grabbed it out of the ruck. His kick was smothered there by Walker. Quick hands from Watkins. Going through traffic there was Jack Walker being good today. Right foot kick and finds Heaney full of confidence. Wheels onto the left boot. Sets the ball out in front of Carter. Good use of the body there by Angwood and Cadman to combine to negate Ryan Carter. Well, the fist finds the line over the line for a boundary throw in. About eight or nine metres around from the Bloods goal. 45, Melton Lee, Daly 23. Nine minutes gone, third turn. Bloods have been uh, more effective against the breeze than they am with it. 
Boundary throwing. Chains here for Ryan Carter out of nowhere. Good use of the body against uh, Tanner. And uh, snap out of the uh, congestion and he's put him through for a goal. And the Bloods get some separation on the scoreboard. They're 7 9 51. They lead Darley 3 5 23. Is that what you said, Tom? They uh, seem to be uh, using the footy a lot better going against the Bloods than what they do when they've got the Bloods. And uh, yeah, that was just way too easy. They uh, kind of just grab that out of the ruck and then it was. And Tanner just uh, off the line of time. So Orr and Tanner to get, uh, contest the ruck. Crashing through with Bacon before he's held up. The umpire says, I'll have it. You'll pull it up in the middle of the ground. So 21 point lead to the blood. That one by Orr. Chance here for Buley. Quick hands. That was Cousins in fact. Second ever OK. Went along the ground trying to find Buley. Hot foot in for the ground level. Buley was two tries to... A tunnel the ball out towards Cousins. Could have been held without, and the umpire let it go. Bewley was good at ground level. Tackle, tackle on the ground. Tight over the ball. Has the umpire going to the body off to the right for a minor score ones in front of goal they're 3624 they found Nelson 7951 inside the blood defensive 50 can go short We've been good kicking the ball into the breeze. Menido runs his full measure through the middle of the ground. Kicks it to an open space. Ryan Carter leading into the race for the ball. And then the top of the line to the top of the line. Runs back into the finals. Before fourth to handle it. And the ball starts to handle the line for a boundary throwing. Now 55 metres around from the Melton goal. 13 and a half minutes gone. Third turn. That one by Tanner, and he's part of Walker, who's been very good, especially in this third turn, kick out in front, and the mark's been taken here by Liam Carter, but Carter plays on, goes in direction of his brother, but it's been cut off there by Brett Bewley, who read it beautifully, into the breeze, and Bewley's told to play on, it's around tight, 
down to the outside. Oh, there's the free kick. You better have found it. I'm fine, but it goes. Force Materi got down down to the footy. Morrison leading into the race for the ball. Runs again. I've got numbers. We've said that a few times this afternoon. Umpire's called advantage. And Lachlan Walker with ball in hand. Uh, Hickey, sorry. Uh, Lachlan Walker got it right the first time. So many Lachlan's and Walker's and Hickey's going around. And there's another Walker. Speaking Riley goes back to Lachlan. Can see some ground to Menido. He's just uh, done his own thing in this third turn. Some encouraging signs for the blood youngster. This kick made it a little bit difficult to handy though. He's just got a hand on it. All set for him okay. Goes out wide in the direction of Jacob Hickey. Cousins did the sharky. Jack Bewley did the contesting. The ball filled towards Brett Bewley. Long kick. Two on one again. We've said that a few times. And he has the party a bit disappointed at the top of the square. Had too much on it for him. And Riley Walker will get the bloods out of trouble. Don't run away from him. Lead up to him. So that kick in from Phillips got to the, to the defensive 50 chance here for Heaney. Left foot kick towards the other side centre wing. The march being taken in by Angwin. So Angwin is falling in here. Member side centre wing. Can send the devil into a tap. The next to cover behind the ball in this corner of the bus. There's the long kick from Angwin. Goes in the right direction. He's got a couple of beats. He's uh, contesting if it was okay. He's got the ball to ground. Four players are in from everywhere, and there'll be a ball up 49 metres away from the Darling Yard. Giving him no space whatsoever, right? Every, every contest has been, you know, except for the one in the second quarter where he was hit up, and the other one's just been pressure, pressure, pressure. 28 point lead to the Bloods. There'll be a repeat stoppage out of the congestion, even the players were wanting a whistle there. So it is 16 gone in this third term at McPherson Park. Darling had had a goal that with the breeze in this third quarter. Bloods will be happy with that. There's the ball up. Tap one by Rodder. Through traffic goes Buley. Kick across the body. We'll get to the top of the goal square. As a party in front. Pippi Sweet couldn't take a mark. Provided a contest though. As the Bloods again through numbers. Right foot kick out of the congestion. Goes towards uh, Hickey. Lahuray just got a hand on the foot. He did well. And found its way over the line for a boundary throw-in. This time on half forward, member side of the ground for Darling. Yes, um, just peppering away, Darling, but for no score time, you know, just you know, chipping, chipping away, but they, they just can't kick that goal that they need to give them a spark. There's the boundary throw-in, went over there to both Ruckman. Oh, three, oh, that was good work there by Cadman. Quick hands to the right, he's bailed up, and he's here to hit him all the way there. As a party, hurry kick inside 50. Or oh, copping one there high would have been for Terry. The umpire let it go. And the blow out of the congestion towards half back. Chance here for right. Quick hands was good. Got it to Cadman. I speak of Joel. Can he keep the ball in play? I think he can, but it's off hands. The hands of Walker. Spoils Johnson. And over the line for a boundary throwing. Devils deep into attack. Eight minutes, eight minutes, or well, ten minutes around from their goal. Yeah, the numbers of Melton that get back and flood back in the, in, in the Dali forward line just make it so hard for them to, to create any opportunity. Sort of stuffing them out all the time and time again, here's a chance. Cameron did the sharking at the back of speaking Charlie. Kick was smothered to be very accountable defensively this afternoon. The Bloods and away they go through Borg. He puts the Jets on. And another gets to the outer side centre wing. Hair pass over the top was as good as a kick to Liam Carter. Got it towards half forward. And Ryan Carter will take a mark 60 metres out from goal. Presenting his Hickey. But he finds him. Sets himself. Can't take the mark to the one hand. Can he keep it in? Be more than happy to set it over the line for a boundary throw in. And allow his forwards to work up to the ground. Take a breath. And let's see how they can negotiate their way out of this boundary throw in. Just for some position for the they push for the tradition. Melton 51, Lee Daly 24. 18 minutes gone, third turn. So Matthew Brett, leg injury, he'll be missing for a large part of the season, you think. Seven minutes into that first quarter, there's a push on right, the umpire let it go. Former ground level, both are in there. Fought tirelessly this afternoon. Been okay, him and Buley have been Daly's best mates. Cousins and Cadman and uh, the Hooray have tried hard across half back. And their backs have been terrific, you know. Like, there's only like the two real veterans you'd like to call them out on the toes and you're left in the field. Kick out of the congestion will sit favourably for, uh, well, we thought it was going to be Carter. 
But uh, the Devils, the youngsters, they combine again. And Jack Fuley's kick gets towards half-back. The mark's being taken there by as a party. As a party plays on back, it was running back to the to give it a cut. Kick to half forward. Out in front of Rodder. Sets himself up with over his head. And pushing back was all who's got time to gather, compose and find Hickey. Switches play to the member's side. Connor's out in front. He's in no rush, but decides to play on. That's a terrific kick towards centre wing. Finds Watkins on the chest. Runs around Baker, forces the stand, goes inside 50. Tight the target. Takes a nice mark in front of Mitch Ward. 60 metres out from goal. One of the carders. Which one? Oh, no. I'll just king it to Lahura. I'll mix it up a bit. He pointed up to the sky and he kicked it short and Lahuray was standing there. So Lahuray kick went out in front of Brett Buley on the defensive 50. Nice kick. And the Devils on the outer side, half back line. They go by the right foot. That was as a party. Goes in the Cadman direction. He sets himself. Four at the back. He's got behind the ball in this quarter. Gives it to Barton. Right kick inside 50. And when the fly takes it on to uncontested mark at the end. Two solid. Nice bit of work there from Page to keep Lane Carter off the foot. And then the ball in here. Jack Billy presents. Oh, doesn't know which way to go. Mm. Lucky to go the required 15 there. So Page will go short. The kick's OK to Cadman. Looks into the middle of the ground. This kick's got to be all right. to as a party. Pressure was good from Hickey. Billy's bump was good. But uh, we've got numbers here. The Bloods again through Suter. Short kick goes to the wide flat side of uh, Ryan Carter. Just inside the boundary line. Page in pursuit. He's on the ball. Still, uh, still straight over the line for a boundary trouble. They don't actually drive the way. They lower their odds. Jack Walker, through the middle of the ground. 
by sharing the uh, possession. Leading statistics should beat the South and then tap one by ten and goes goal side chance of Bewley. Long left will kick to the top of the square. Ron has picked himself at the back, can't take the mark. He keeps his feet though, something out of nothing for the Devils. Three goals. Seven now, Darley. 25 trail, Melton 8, 9, 57. So the Brunson blunts, blunts to bring the ball back into play. The kick's okay. Barnes walk out. Speak of Loughlin on this occasion. Takes on by hands and Cotter. Goes out of sight of the ground. The kick's good. It's a good stretch and mark taken on uh, the outer side of the back line. Here by the big fella there in Phillips, I think. He'll go along the line. Find Heaney. Outer side settling just inside the boundary line. The Bloods, they lead by 32 points. Near 25 minutes gone. The left foot. Goes, well, it's just all Darley there. The mark's been taken there by, is that, is it Lahure, is it? Goes short, kicks okay. And the devil, on the centre wing. Joel Cadman with ball in hand. Kick smothered, gets it towards half forward. The presentation of the blunt. Determination despite their separation on the scoreboard. Ball gets to set, centre wing. Chance here through the middle of the ground. They're on their bike. Away go, uh, uh, Borg, inside 50, penetrating kick, won't have the carry, and England will go back and take a mark on the goal square. So, on the last line of defence, England short kicking is OK to Page. We can go further afield, in the direction of as a party, couldn't take the mark, might have had his arm chopped, the umpire let it go. 50-50 ball. Barton tries to get out to the defensive side, but the umpire says, I'll have it. And there'll be a ball up, attacking side and centre wing for the Bloods. Member side of the ground, they lead by 32 points. Near 26 minutes gone, third turn. There's the ball up, leg break, just missed Brent nearly all together. Still in and under there, the Devils trying, anchor wanting a free kick. Soccer forward there by Hazard Party, got it towards half forward, Suda gathered cleanly. Top one high with the umpire, let it go. Bucking got the quick hands over the ball, tight. Short kick's okay and finds uh, Hickey. So Lachlan Hickey with ball in hand on the left foot. Deep into the pocket. Darley got numbers, but that won't stop Ryan Carter. Liam Carter from taking the mark. Just pushed the, the two Darley defenders underneath the ball. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. So that's the pole 59. Big Lake Winner E33. Melton South 57 lead summary 22. Can you believe it? Redan 21 lead Ballarat 6. Lincoln Carter will walk away from us. Well, 150 metres away from us and have a shot on goal of bending back to hit the pipe. Fair shot from that pocket. 8-10-50 the pocket. Lead Darling 3-7-25. 33-point ball game here at Mackey Park. 27 minutes gone, final turn. Travis Hodgson will be uh, looking for the bowling bridge. Ball comes back in towards half-back. Off the ground. Leading in the race to the ball there. Let's hit through Monty Cop by nine there for the walk of the umpire called play on. Before it found its way over the line for a boundary throw in on half-forward. For the Bloods outside of the ground. They kicked four goals in this third term against the Breeze. And they lead deservedly by 33. Couldn't be long left in this third term. You'd think Akron out of the congestion. Got it towards Bewley. Speak of Brett. Long left foot kick to the attacking 50. One bounce over the line for a boundary throw in. 51 metres around from the Dalry goal. Yeah, I think we need an update there. That's just uh, pretty well there. there as all grabs the ball out of the ruck from that boundary throw. He got the ball towards the defensive side of centre wing. As the siren sounds for three-quarter time here at McPherson Park. Melton with a commanding lead. 8-10-58. The breeze to come.
swing grand back. Chandri. There's the ball up. That one by Paul. Coming up in his back. Curry Dick gets towards half forward, bouncing ball. Chance here for uh, Van Lee to get the ball knocked away from him. Follow up work is okay. Shot uh, out of the congestion there from the Bloods gets to the teeth and goal off hands through for a rush behind. So, Belden with the uh, first inside 50 entry of this uh, final term, will be 30 seconds in. The 59, they lead Darley 25. Angwin lopes. Out of defence, gets plenty on the kick and reading it well there was Bright against his um, young opponent there in Lawson. He goes short by foot to Brent Fuley. He goes along the line. Down to the target, takes a chest mark, gets pushed, that's nearly 50 metres yet. That's 50 metres against all. So uh, just a bit of undiscipline there from the big fella, a bit of frustration. As uh, Tanner. Well, they'll have a shot from about 40 against the Brute. Oh, that's not 50. There's another one of those 35. Round over towards Baker. On the left from 49. I tell you what, that's not a bad effort. Oh, good Baker job. gets it done. Good job. Good job. Well, it was just a, a, a little bit inside of, um, of Heaney's goal in that uh, third term. But Baker's learned from uh, his fellow opposing left foot got the job done and well done by Tanner for giving that handball. Baker was under the pump and uh, an excellent finish under pressure and Darley get the first goal inside 90 seconds in this final set. Tanner presented and uh, that's what he needs to do. Tom. And you know, with the frustration of Warren pushing in the back and cutting the ball in the middle of the corner and it's a little pushing and it's finished. That one by Tanner, only as far as Hickey who knocked it to, to Baker, his hurry left foot kick. Got towards half forward. Ryder gathers the footy. Throws the ball onto the boot. Went over the shoulder in the end. How did he do that? I don't know. But shallow entry inside 50. Connor will do the mopping up. The Bloods will get out of trouble. Despite conceding ground by foot to Minito. He can go further to Phillips. He's an excellent by foot as Minito. As Phillips keeps the ball moving to Scoville. So they've not out of their defensive 50 yet. They've had five or so kicks, the Bloods. But uh, they've got faith in their own short kicking ability here as Mark or Mark on the defensive 50. Goes short again, out wide towards Liam Carter. Has a party in front, did well. Managed to get ball to boot. Just eludes Joel Cadman. Tied legs there from Joel. Minito gathers the footy. Quick hands, hurry kick. Rodder now on half forward. Throws the ball on the dog, preferred. Right for target. Couldn't quite take the mark. Got a terrible bounce. Tight, thought he was. Got to uh, dispossess. Open ball here. Chance to Joel Cadman. Take it to the ground by two blood players. And then we a ball out 40 metres out from the Daly goal. Two tight plays out there now, Fred, or is yeah, that's none of them with that win. Probably. Yeah, no doubt. There's the ball up. Good use of the body there from all, but Tanner won the tap only as far as Mawson. He's hurried kick, didn't have much on him at all. All over the shoulder, free kick every day of the week will go to Spateri. Speaking of Lee Spateri for the Devils. So he's about 40 metres out from goal. He goes short, kicks okay. Marking unmarked. That was good run from uh, Joel Cadman mm -hmm. to present there. And he'll have a shot on goal. And be happy with that, Tinsy. So Joel Cadman with ball in hands. He's checking there. Left hand goal post finish. Is that the mail? Left hand goal. The Terry just put the swing on the ball. Top. And let's see how we go. Cadman will set sail for the jump. Yes, Makes no mistake. Tarling get the opening two goals of the final term inside four minutes. And they move to 5-7-37. They trail Nelton, 8 11 59. Tick over four minutes gone, final turn. That's what they've got for all the time. Cadman gets his second, is the only multiple goal kicker for the Devils. Luther Baker, Andrew has a party, and Brady Wright have the other three, whilst for uh, Melton, Ryan Carter has two, one each two. Mark Orr, Jack Walker, Lachlan Hickey, Liam Carter, Adrian Minido, and Luke Heaney. 22 point ball game here. Tap one by, well, Mawson's into the ruck. Out of the congestion goes Baker, but he tackled and bailed up, and there'll be a repeat stoppage right in the middle of the ground. Tell you those men a lot of footy today, and it's usually a bit of a uh, 
in and under and tough football, uh, Jake Gankron. Um, Very quiet. The tab out of the congestion. Baker threw ball on boot. It was a hurry kick on it towards half forward. Kick goes. Rebounds from uh, Walker towards half forward. Chance here for Lahure. It took a while to get rid of it. Hand pass was smothered in the end. That was good play there from uh, well, Lockman well. Hickey. But uh, another turnover opportunity. They just haven't given up yet, the young uh, the young Devils. Mawson's hands was good. Got it to Kite. Uh, bailed up there was uh, Hickey. Excellent well, pressure well. there from Ward on Heaney. Up by lets it go. Bit of a stacks on the mill. This eliminated. You'd think there'd be a stoppage about 40 metres away from the Bloods goal. 21 teams good will be impressed with. They haven't given up trying, that's for sure. Tom. Yeah, they'd have, uh, they'd have less than uh, 120 games between in the back six. Yeah, they guts out for him. Here's another one who's kept trying, Baker, who muscles the ball forward and finds the boundary line. There'll be a throw in 35, 40 metres around from the Darley goal. There's plenty to like about Duncan Cadman, Duncan Lahuray, Zane. and uh, Zane Lahuray, sorry, and uh, Mace Cousins today off half back. Ankrum takes a nice mark. Umpire said play on. It must have been touched off the boot. Ball on the attacking 50 here for the block. And a bit of a stalemate. This eliminate ball up 50 metres away from the blood's goal. So they're hanging in the Devils. 22. Sounds about right. Here's the ball up. Ball at ground level. Another stoppage. So the Devils can just hang in in the last quarter. I mean, you don't want honourable losses every week, but uh, you take one this afternoon. There's the kick to the half-back line for the Devils. Purely quick hands was good. Got the ball over there towards the answer there in Van Lee. Runs his full measure. Right foot kick. Chance here for Johnson. Will it see for him? It does. Got rid of it from last It's going to be a free kick for holding the man. And Johnson will go back and have a shot on goal from the Devils. About 20 metres out correctly in front. That does it for in this quarter, Tom. <laughs> If they hold the score, they've got a victory. Well, lucky your <laughs> comments have been telegraphed over the Darley huddle there at three-quarter time. A final word from the Fred. I'll kick three this quarter, Johnny. So, Johnson, who hasn't kicked uh, a goal this afternoon, can get the margin back within 16. Leans back on the kick. He got it. Johnson gets his first, start to get their sixth. And we're back to a 16-point ball game. Seven and a half minutes gone in this final turn. They couldn't, could they? Well, I don't think so. But, <laughs> 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 but like, Jordan would be, uh, you know, wrapped with the, the effort that they're putting in because, like, you know, I'm harping on it, but Brett goes down, you know, in, in defence and, like, he, he is your, your, your key defender, Todd, and um, they've really, they've toughed it out because this could have been a 10 or 12 goal blowout. Three-quarter time, North Ballarat, 52, lead East Point, 45. Mm -hmm. Back in the middle of the ground here at Mackey Park. It's the Bloods who lead Daly by 16. Chance here for the Devils through Cousins. Hurry left foot kick towards half forward. Mawson is tackled, bailed up by Catman. How will the umpire see it? He'll let it go. Quick handsome Cotter. Got it, ball finally over towards Jacob Hickey. He's gang tackled, taking it around. And the umpire says, I'll have it. There'll be a ball up on the attacking side of the middle of the ground here at McPherson's Park. So Rodder into the ruck, wins the tap, only as far as Hickey, who dropped the ball, umpire let it go. And there'll be a repeat stoppage. So Rodder into the ruck. Last roll of the dice for the Devils. And a try by 16 into the breeze in his final turn. Hard to believe they kicked one with it and then kicked five against it. As uh, out of the congestion goes Morse into the member side centre wing. Heaney was a good use of the body. Gets onto that preferred left. Goes deep into attack. Chance here for Carter. That was all. In fact, he's gone deep forward. How will it sit for Ray Hickey? Couldn't get boots to ball. Quick hand pass the side. Over to War. Across the body. On his foot of two. Steady up on the blood. As all gets his second goal of the afternoon. And the blood, they get their ninth. On the back of pretty much their first or second forward kick in the back turn. Well, it was kind of very hot. Mm. Um, the, the ball was bobbing around and uh, you know, the pressure on the Darley blokes was getting melted in the pocket. Just fell out and it was 
Been lucky enough to have fallen in his arm and uh, got the goal in his body. 65, Melton lead Daly, 43. 10 minutes gone, final turn. Mawson beat Tanner in the ruck. Tanner won that tap. Only as far as Jack Walker. Hurry right foot kick up and under kick. Well read there by Blacker. To the nose mark going back with the fly to the ball. Kick gets towards the attacking 50. Right on the target. Couldn't take it on the second grab. His tackle on Phillips was terrific. He was holding the ball, but the umpire said no help to him. And he'll be a ball up on half forward. So. Results this afternoon. Uh, it's been tough for uh, the former winning the game. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's trying hard. It's, uh, it's, it's just how we're going to play with our top. He comes to the ring side. He did. Runs a good number three shot. And then by him over the wall. Spillers, he wanted to be playing here. Goal. It's real trouble. Dropping the ball to the umpire. So the free kick will be going towards uh, Joel Cadman. So he's from 50 metres out. Comes wide looking for Rodder. He'll yeah. take a mark. In front of Lachlan Walker. So a bit of a size difference there. And Rodder will go back and have a shot on goal from 40. Hard to beat when you get separation, Todd, and you can hit up on the footy. Correct. He'll, he'll get him every day. But uh, it's been diff very difficult with the breeze on those entry kicks. So let's see if Rodder can snag one for the Devils. Kicks on its way. Bending back. It's he it. likes it. It's Devils it. like it. And Tali get their seventh of the afternoon to get back within 16. They're seven, seven forty-nine. They just won't go away. They're just like a, a fly on you at the beach, Rich. 9-11-65, Melton. 16-point ball game. 11 and a half minutes gone, final turn. They, they, they've tried really, really hard. And, you know, look, um, they, you know, their endeavour, um, their contest at the footy, um, it's been terrific. It's just, you know, you'd you think they'd be able to capitalise going with the breeze, so it seems like they've got to work harder going into the breeze and, you know, kicking goals against it. Next centre clearance, we'll see how they go. Jack Walker's tackle taken on the ground by Bewley. Thank you, Brett. The umpire says, I'll have it. This stoppage will be on the attacking side of the centre of the ground for the Bloods. Tap one by Tanner. Mawson got a favourable bounce, sent the Bloods into attack. Players set themselves. Waiting at ground level there was Carter. He couldn't gather a speaker, Brian. Players over the footy, plays in from everywhere. How will the umpire see it? He'll blow his whistle and he'll say, I'll have it. The 9-11-65 Melton lead, Daly 7-7-49. 12 and a half minutes gone, final turn. There's the ball up, tap one by Rodder. Pays, quick hands to Bewley. And that hand pass was as good as a kick. Got it out of uh, the congestion. Sending the ball back to attack with Kyle. Pays sets himself, didn't take the mark. Want to be disciplined here, the Devils defence. The blood probably want another steady out of put the icing on the cake. There's a chance here for the uh, Bloods with a squaring kick. Good spoil on the ball there with some Jack Bewley. He hasn't uh, stopped trying this afternoon. All with a tight kick out the side of the boot. But uh, fortuitously falls into the hands of the Bloods. And they'll go back and have a shot on goal from about 40 metres out. He was standing there minding his own business that white with his brother in his arm. It was pretty much signing autographs over the fence. <laughs> he was getting the pocket. <laughs> so, uh, he'll go back and have a shot on goal here. And it's the left foot of Hickey. Set sail for the judge. Off yes. to the right for a minor score. I'm not the rubber, not the hand. <laughs> the ball to come back into play. Wasting no time with uh, Anglin with the loping left foot kick. Right the target takes a nice mark the youngster in front of Walker. So next kick all important. Will go short, finds Rodder. On half back. Devil's not out of trouble yet. Short kick again. Finds Spateri. Defensive side of centre wing. Members side of the ground. Sun streaming down here. Spateri. Kick. He goes back into the rotter direction. He had two to beat. Forced to wait under it for an eternity. There's some good vision out of the congestion from the blood to Walker. He went back inboard. Didn't have to do it. Turn over him and Brett Bewley got it to Baker. He gave it to Spiteri. Excellent smother there by Mawson. Ball th uh, spilled into the hands of uh, Watkins. He got it to Jack Walker. He got it back to Liam Carter. They're queuing up here. Kick from Jack Walker. Goes into attack. And coming out taking an ice mark out in front there with Cadman. Be good. Right foot kicks okay. 
And they'll get out of trouble furthermore through Cousins along the line. It might have been Angwood, in fact. And then went one bounce over the line for a boundary throw in. 66 Melton leads Ali 49. Near 15 minutes gone, final term. Trying to beat in the final term. Trying to be the character of the devil. Yeah, and that's what he would have asked them to do. Todd. Boundary throw in. Rodder. And Mawson. Rodder won the tap. We're looking for Bewley. Got clean bowl. Uh, Spiteri was held without it. Umpire agreed. So Brett Bewley is going to come off for a spell and just said, oh no, you can't do that because we've only got one of you. Spiteri <laughs> <laughs> with ball in hand. It's a fair call really, isn't it, Freak? Yeah, no. Then go. goes short Spiteri to Rodder. So Rodder wheels onto the right boot. Goes into attack. Tanner the target sets himself. Porter at the back. Good ball there from right. Hot footy at ground level. Both sides will take a stoppage here. But uh, somehow Cotter ended up with the footy. Just hurrying kick out of the defence. Got to the defensive 50. And Mawson just took a mark in front of Spiteri who didn't really push up there. He sort of anticipating a ball up as Mawson's short kick goes in direction and finds Carter. Speaker Brian who tells... Walker to keep running, he takes a mark there in front of the hooray. So, on half back, right in front of us here. Goes along the line, kicks out of bounds on the full. So these boys have been tied in the third quarter, Prince, they're certainly tied now. It's really a pressure free kick, kick went out of bounds on the fulls. But Terry finds Rodder, who went to ground, took a nice mark on the chest. Sends the ball into attack as a party stop Walker to beat. Did well. Uh, it was uh, Johnson, in fact. How will it sit? He's over the footy. What's the free kick? The What's the umpire going to pay? Sun's on his eyes. Get the man some sunglasses. <laughs> as soon as it goes to the outer side with the kick. Bloods can't quite the, take the mark with Button. Gets some separation. Can see by hand of Jack Walker. They're plenty of it this afternoon. Gave it to Suter. And he got the overlap and Button took a mark and gave everyone a chance to take a breath. Yeah, he could have given a free kick down. It would have been real interesting, Todd. 17 minutes gone, final term. Melton 66, Darley 49. They go backwards by 45 to Cotter, who kicks it to Suter in the goal square. Overlap kick to Phillips, deep in the pocket. Can go to Walker, but decides to go further afield to Ryan Carter. This is the Melton wing at the moment. They can just chip it over the top. And Mawson's got a pad. He can give it to Riley Walker if he likes. He'll go low to Kite. That's a good kick. Coming out, taking a nice mark there. Was the captain. Too far out to score. 55 metres out, but um, weighs off the options. Goes deeper into the pocket. Oh, that's a strong mark taken there by the Bloods. You know, that might be the big fella there in Carter. Oh, uh, was Heaney, in fact. Wheeled around onto the left. Oh, okay. don't tell me he's done it at both ends. Oh, no. just faded away off to the left. You'll see a good interview with uh, Luke Heaney in uh, next week's footy record, the youngster. And they'll be able to tell you all about that left foot goal in that third turn. The ball comes back into play. Put Brent Bewley under the pump. Trying to get rid of it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the blood's blowing up. But uh, when, when don't the bloods blow up at Mackey Park? And I'm not talking about the wind either. So there's the ball up. 40 metres away from the Melton goal. Tap one by Carter. Baker want to be quick here. Did get rid of it. Back to Bewley's then bailed up. There's some expectations or, you know, as soon as Bewley really gets it, they just shout ball. Anyway, there's the tap. Quick hands from Bewley. And as far as Ward is then tackled, he's taken to the ground no prior and the umpire will affect the ball up. Sun's disappeared here. I think everything will disappear here soon. Near 19 minutes gone, final term. <laughs> 67, Melton, Darley 49. There's the ball up. Darley with players behind the footy. They'll get the hurry kick into the middle of the ground. How will it sit? Need an opportunity here for Joel Cabin. Anchor him at the back with the bloods again. Prevail through numbers. And Geordie Kite, right foot kick out towards Braden. Mark Handel, free kick. The umpire's going to go with the ladder. And Kite will go back and have a shot on goal from 45 to 50 metres out. So Bewley, speaking Brett, comes off for a, a well-earned rest. They had plenty of it this afternoon. Been relatively quiet since the first quarter, Kite. Kite hasn't had much of it. 
Yeah, through, uh, through weight and possession, the budget, you know, he normally really gets off the hook, but uh, mm -hmm. credit to the young Devil's defence. Yeah, no, he's done a good job board on him after the first quarter. But he can only keep top-end talent out of the game for so long as Kite leans back on the kick and makes no mistake, and he gets his first, first the of home. the afternoon. 10-13-73, Melton Lee, Daly 7-7-49. Seven, seven, a 24-point margin to the home sign at the moment. Coming in fridge, I don't think we were far off the five-goal tip. No, we weren't, but um, look, uh, to their credit, Daly and uh, look, uh, Jordan would be just what he's expected in this last quarter. They've delivered for him because, um, like I said, it could have been a blowout this game. It could have been, uh, you know, 60-point plus. Tap one by Mawson out of the middle. Here they go again, the Bloods. How will that ball sit for Watkins? He, he just lets uh, walk out. Oh. That's holding the ball every day of the week. Free kick to the Devils. And Joel Cadman with ball in hand. Will go short. Lowers the eyes. Tries to get it there towards uh, right. He couldn't take the mark. But somehow the Bloods have got four players back. And they're all around the footy. And they'll get out of trouble through Walker. That's just too easy, isn't it? The mark's been taken there by the youngster there in Handley. But countless times they've had numbers around the footy all the time, all day, Todd. You know, they've always got two or three. They've got one behind and they've, they've got options. So Handley goes inboard to Jack Walker, who found Sudo was dumped as he kicked. The umpire's going to pay the down the ground, is he? Yeah, he will. And Kite will have a chance to kick his second of the afternoon. So a couple of undisciplined acts haven't helped the Devils either. Mm -hmm. Albeit only two or three, but I mean, when you're playing an undefeated side, you've really got to get near everything right to uh, to get the job done. So a resultant free kick from Kite will set sail for the judge. And he has put it through. And the captain from the Bloods has kicked his second of the afternoon. Averaging two goals a game. He stuck to the ledger. 11-13-79. We're out to a five-goal ball game. Darley 7-7-49. Seven, seven, well, yeah, look, um, young Ward's done a relatively good job for, you know, two and a half quarters on him, Todd. Yeah, he's, he's never been far away, no, has he? No, and, uh, you know, only that uh, errant tackle after he got the kick uh, suitor and uh, was awarded to court as a, you know, downfield, and he's got a goal out of that. Back in the middle of the ground, Rodder and Mawson. Mawson won that tap, only as far as Brett Bewley. Hurried right foot kick towards the outer side centre wing. Borg, they're just queuing up here again. It was uh, Jack Walker, he's had his own footy today. Got it towards Suter, they got the towards half forward. Here's Borg, again. leg speed good, takes on as a party, takes a bounce, runs his ball measure, how far up by her. Goes by hand, further afield chance here for Liam Carter. The tackle on Cadman was good. Ball at ground level. I'll try and get this through. They will, the Devils. Through for a rush behind. Well, Sebastopol lead Lake Windery by 41. Ballarat leads Redan by two. And Melton South leads Summary by 40. <laughs> Ball gets towards half back for the Devils. Mawson interfered with the umpire. Let it go. Quick hands over the top. Numbers have prevailed at the uh, coal face through Mawson. Half forward, that goes the kick. Oh, Bewley caught one over the shoulder. The umpire didn't see it. Ball spews for each hands here for as a party. Oh. He took his caught in between two minds there. Page, high kick. Out of side, centre wings for Terry and Geordie Kite. Kite and numbers around him. Excellent effort there by Spateri, but numbers are going to prevail again. Ryan Carter pushing back. Knocks the ball to the advantage of Geordie Kite. On half back for the Bloods. Tied kick. Got it towards Borg, who's bailed up. And taken to the ground. The umpire says, I'll have it. And there'll be a ball up. Near on half forward, out of sight of the ground for the Bloods. 80 plays, 49. Melted lead by 31 points. <laughs> After leading by... 33 at three-quarter time. Ball spills free out of the congestion. Cadman, oh, looked terrific as he turned and went forward. Chance here for Johnson. Now let's see for him. The gather's okay. Squaring kick goes in the direction there of right. But uh, a last-minute save there from Cotter was terrific. He read it beautifully around three other Melton players. As they come to the members' side of the ground, defensive 50 mark taken there by Scoble, who found Minito on half-back. Geez, their ability to work, you know, threes and fours for the contest fridges. 
<coughs> has really been impressive. Yeah, and the, <coughs> and the numbers that they can get around the ball is, is, is phenomenal. Type. Speaking of numbers, I think Jack Walker's got the uh, the numbers for Melton today. Probably been BOG for them. Heaney goes short into the sun. The mark's been taken there by Scoville. On half back. Needless to say, the sting's gone right out of this game as he kicks it backwards. Goes to the 45 kick. Tanner's got two to beat. Connor, uh, Cotter, I speak of. Got time to compose and send the kick towards Barton, who made the kick look better than what it was. Gathered on the half volley. Hand pass. Another half volley to Geordie Kite. Back to Cotter. Smother was good there from the Devils. Ball spilled free over towards Bewley. Into attack. One on one. Uh, right, one of the free kick. The umpire let it go. Riley Walker will bring the ball to member's side. Half back. And Heaney's pushed up and he takes a mark. Can take a bounce. He'll get onto that left foot. Go along the line. Angwin in front. Good spoil there from uh, the youngster there in Minito. But up there was Mawson. And the umpire will affect the ball up. On half forward for the Bloods. Member's side of the ground. See, when they get closer to us, he's a fair size. Winning for the top. Yeah, good size player. Same size as Cat. Go Joel Cadman. <clears throat> There's the ball up. Tap one by Rodder. Goes to the uh, near the boundary line. Ball rolls over for a boundary throw in. So 25 and a half minutes gone, final term. Melton 80, lead Daly 49. After leading by 33 at the final change, the Bloods lead by 31. Chance here for Bewley, been very good. Got it over towards the youngster there in Murley, who got it towards Ancrum, who went in board to Angwin. Well, he was bailed up, no prior, and there'll be a ball up, so... There'll be, some, there'll be some no prior lessons, some seminars here at Mackey Park during the week for any supporter who wants to come down and learn a bit about it. There's the ball up, tap one by Mawson. I like this young bloke, goes good. Yeah, 19, very good player, Todd. Soccer along the ground there from Angwin, only as far as Jack Walker. He's over the footy, Ang, um, Ankrum with the pressure. Murley through traffic, tackle taken on the ground. Quick hands there from Johnson. Had to give it before he was penalised. Nearly through traffic. Got the ball over towards Cadman. Through traffic. Had his kick smothered. Hot footy. Heaney and Murley, the two youngsters going at it. And uh, the boundary line will win in the end. You'd think it does. And there'll be a boundary throw in on half forward. Member side of the ground. For the Devils. 49. They are. They trail Nelton 80. Near 27 minutes gone. So boundary throw to take place. Rodder wins the tap, goes over the shoulder to the boys for coming through there was Suter. Oh, that's holding the ball every day of the week. As a party, a speaker of Andy takes the advantage. Oh, Missed the hand pass to Bewley, went crashing through. Got the hand pass further afield, but there's a punch there from Ryan Carter. We've got it towards half back. Ankrum now gathers. Now he'll spew the ball out wide towards Andy as a party. Has a chance here. To make up for that errant last hand pass. There's a high kick made it to be good for Brett Bewley. Sets himself and he takes oh, it on his class. overhead mark. All class, Brett Bewley. And we'll go back and have a shot on goal. From about 40 metres out. 45 degree angle. Now well, 35 really, but it'll be 40 into the breeze. Aren't they a pleasure to watch these blokes that come back from the AFL system? Todd? Well, when the game gets messy, they just seem to tidy it up, don't they? Yeah, no, it's all class. So Bewley... They had plenty of it this afternoon. He'll probably be Darling's best player. Yeah, easy. We'll have a shot on goal. Mm -hmm. They want to shank that out of bounds on the full. Sounds like he didn't do well. That won't affect. Uh, that won't affect his chances of uh, having a wind down to the Bacchus Mars Golf Club with me and a friend. Voted uh, best of field for the Darling team. So. The Bloods negotiate their way out of trouble. They get the ball into the hands of Lachlan Walker on the defensive 50. Goes back on the 45 kick to Ryan Carter. He goes inboard to the middle. They're still inside their defensive 50. Watkins is, um, lateral kick finds Cotter. He just knocks up getting kicks down there. Yeah, Cotter. He's a, he's a very good offensive backman, isn't he? Yeah. The ball goes along the line and too much on it. And the free kick will be taken there by Page. Tim Reagan, you don't, like, you don't mind telling you how good he is either. Oh, right. <laughs> well, he's a featherweight, isn't he? So you've got to watch that. <clears throat> so Page keeps the kick low and finds Brent Bewley. Terrific size this player too, Bewley. He's 
Probably 6'2 as well, isn't he? Yeah. You know? Well, this worries me. Oh, he goes short here. Beautiful. Finds Cadman. Out of side centre. He plays on to Joel. Right foot kick to the attacking 50. merely has got size to uh, account for. Did well. Got the ball to ground. Cotter had the sit. Then went through traffic. Did well. Umpires picked out a free kick. It's going to go against the Bloods. So Merley did well there, the youngster. And Jack Billy will take the free kick. Keeps the kick low and the marks being taken there by Joel Cadman. Both brothers have had relatively good, really good games, the Cadman brothers. Yeah, Cad, he's, he's, he's tried hard in the second half, Joel. Yeah, yeah no, had, both had terrific games. As the siren sounds to end this trip to McPherson's Park, it'll be Melton who will go undefeated four from their four. 11-14-80, Darley 7-7-49 with a shot on goal after the siren from Cadman. Set sail, and it's going to go off to the right for a minus score. But that's the 50 up for the Devils, and five goals exactly the mark. So Melton 11-14-80 with defeated Darley 7-8-50. Play shake hands, they're all exhausted, even the wind's having a start. All this gets uh, the goals from uh, Fridge. And, uh, some, and we'll have a quick discussion on the major bit of play. Melton, Kite 2, Orr 2, Walker 1, Hickey 1, Leon Carter 1, Brian Carter 2, Manito 1 and Hickey.